So here it is, box number two. Box number two, half dollars. Uh, this one's a little bit different. I think this is a Loomis box. The other one, I'm not sure what it was. I think it was Brinks, but it was the double stacked ones, and this is just the single long s stacks. Um, well, wish me luck, and here we go. I'm going to open her up. Pretty. Mm. I don't know about that one. I think it's just got <clears throat> crud on it. Maybe, maybe not. Well, I don't see anything outwardly that could be a silver ender but let me get them flipped over and I'll bring you back in okay I'm bringing you guys back in because I think I got maybe an NIFC but maybe also a silver I don't know if you guys can see that but looking like a dark rim there might be a 40 percenter all right let's take a look Let's take a look at this uh, possible NIFC first. Yep, 2011. Decent shape, it's got a little smudge on there. Not bad, we'll keep her. And yeah, let's see here. Right here. I don't know. Yep, it's a 1968. Sweet. First silver of the box. Eight rolls in. Well, technically nine, but I kept that one aside because it looks suspicious. Eight rolls in. Got me a silver. All right. We're off to a pretty good start. I'll loop you back in when uh, something else comes up. Okay, guys. I just got pretty excited. Because I think I found my second silver of the box. Can you see it? It looks like a good one, too. Looks like a really good one. <clears throat> Let's see what it is. It's a 90%er. <laughs> 1964. That's what I'm talking about. It's got a really cool toning to it, too. Wow. Look at that. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right. <laughs> My heart's going like crazy. Okay, I'll bring you back in if I find something else. Okay, guys, I'm at the halfway point. Including this one right here. Halfway point and 25th roll. And I got a couple of really shiny ones. And I wanted to bring you in and take them out. And you notice I lost the gloves because they were way too big. And they were just kind of getting in the way. So I got to go pick up some smaller gloves. But um, I have a couple of shinies. This one down here is really thick. So we'll try to take this one out see what it is. Ah, just a 71 in really pretty good shape. But that one's going back. All right, and the other shiny, shiny is up here. And it's just a 99, so nothing big, nothing major. But we're doing well. I got a really cool uh, toner right here. It's got a little rainbow action going on. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty cool. I got, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven NIFCs. I got a little stack of 74Ds and 82s and 83s right here. And of course, I've got my silver right there. So um, I'm going to keep going. And uh, that was a false alarm, so I'll bring it back in when I find something good. I'm having kind of a cold streak. So I figured I'd do one live. Maybe it'll give me a little, a little bit of good luck. Maybe. Hopefully. 
allegedly. Well, that's a shiny one. That's about it. Let's take a look at her. Nope, just a 92. All right. Maybe I jinxed myself. All right. I'll bring it back in in a minute. So Sweet. I found a proof. It's been circulated pretty heavily. And I almost missed it because the S is like... it's. It looks so much like a D, it's not even funny. But it's there. 1973 S. She's in rough shape. I wouldn't have really noticed it if it wasn't for how shiny it is. But it's in rough shape at the same time. So that's pretty exciting. Alright. Put that in the collection. For sure. Alright, I'll loop you guys in if I find something else. Isn't that a sad sight? But hey, we didn't do too bad. I'm on the last roll. Figured I'd bring you guys and share this experience together. Alright. I'm not seeing anything. Nothing silvery anyway. Seen some old, really worn edges. I think it's really interesting, too, that um, every time I found a 74D, there was a 74 plane right next to it. Every single time. It was very interesting. Okay. Doesn't look like there's anything in that one. Ooh, look at that. That's interesting. That's the one that I kept aside. That looks like somebody tried to plate it and it went really, really wrong. 1971D. I mean, they either plated it or tried to clean it with something that corroded it. I'm not sure. It's got, It's like a gold tone to it, but I don't know. Oh well. Alright, uh, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of the wrap up. I'm gonna go through these later because I have to get ready for work here pretty soon because I gotta go make that bacon. These are 74Ds, these are 82s and 83s. These are my NIFCs. We got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Almost the same as the last box. These are my oddballs. Well, except for this, this is my proof. 1973 P, I mean S. <laughs> um, and we got this one that's definitely a pocket coin. It's like rubbed smooth on both sides. It's just insanely smooth for a 72. Insane. And then there's this one that's got a couple of holes in it. We see the holes. Yes. And then this one, we already saw before. And the piece de la resistance. We got a 1968, which we hit pretty well out of the gate. And then about halfway through the box, we got this gorgeous 1964. 90% silver. Love it. I love it. It was a good box. It was better than the first box. So my second box, super success. I'm super happy you guys joined me on this one. And happy hunting, and I'll talk at you later.